नमस्कार दोस्तों स्वागत करता हूं मेरे इस चैनल स्टेमित राहुल पर आज हम लोग लास्ट क्लास में हम लोगों ने लाइट को स्टार्ट किया था आज हम लोग आगे पढ़ने वाले हैं तो जैसा कि मैंने बताया था कि नेक्स्ट आज के क्लास में हम लोग स्फेरिकल मिरर के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है तो स्फेरिकल मिरर ओके ना तो लास्ट क्लास में हम लोगों ने प्लेन मिरर को डिस्कस किया था जो कि एक प्लेन मिरर था ठीक है आज हम लोग स्फेरिकल मिरर डिस्कस करेंगे तो स्फेरिकल मिरर हमारा दो तरह का होता है एक होता है कॉनकेव एक होता है कॉनवेक्स ठीक है नाउ सपोज दिस इज माय स्फेयर दिस इज अ स्फेयर ओके इफ आई विल पेंट दिस साइड आई विल पेंट this side so this is this area this area is my plane and polished surface and here suppose i will paint this side so this is my plane and polished surface so it when i will divide this two it will form two types of mirror one will be one will be convex and this one will be concave this is my concave and this is my con Vicks. It is see the mirror side is in the cave. That is why it is concave, and the mirror side is outside the cave. That is why it is convex mirror. Okay. Now here is one thing that this is my sphere. So there will be a point where it is it will it it will have a radius. Okay. Now this radius is called. radius of curvature okay curvature and it is denoted by c now so this is a radius of curvature the distance between pole one more thing this is my pole okay this is my pole the the distance with the half distance means the half of distance between c between cp is my focus okay my focus so let's draw it first okay so suppose this is my convex mirror con, uh, convex mirror okay so its focus its center of curvature is suppose here and this is my pole okay pole and this is my principal axis principal axis okay and so suppose this is my r okay so and between of this between pole and center of curvature we have focus whose distance is r by 2 that means and it's this length is called focal length okay which is r by 2 okay focal length is denoted by f similarly same case will be in uh, same thing will be in my concave mirror suppose this is my concave mirror okay and this is my pole so this will be my radius of curvature this will be my focus the distance between some pole and center of uh, radius of curvature we will have r the distance between pole and focus will have focal length which is r by 2 okay now again what i said to remember you what i said to learn in the last class two thing that you have to learn uh one thing that you have to learn that is law of reflection okay so what law of reflection say when a light ray will appear it will reflect same angle okay so here also in convex mirror and convex cave mirror also also it will work let's see how okay so suppose this is my concave mirror this is my concave mirror and this is my radius okay of a radius of curvature that is my uh, c oh 
see okay now a light ray suppose a light ray is approaching to this mirror parallelly okay a light ray is approaching to the mirror parallelly so when it will approach when it will approach when it will approach parallelly there will be a tangent will draw have you have to draw a tangent so there will be a normal so it will reflect in this direction and this parallel ray will always reflect reflect and it will pass through focus okay now second thing if any if any ray which originates from center of curvature if any ray originates from center of curvature so again we'll see where it is where it will after reflection where it will go so what will happen let's draw a tangent so when we'll draw a tangent we'll 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 see we'll see this is nothing but at 90 degree so it will reflect it from same uh, on same center of curvature okay now next is if any so this is my principal focus principal axis pole okay now if any ray is approaching at this point at pole at certain angle so again draw a tangent a normal so it will reflect at same angle this is and this is r okay same angle understood so this 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 ray and this ray and this ray all these rays are valid for both the cases and its vice versa is also true if something is far if and a ray as initiated or emitted from focus it will pass parallelly okay understood so this is my ray diagram of concave mirror abhi hum log padhne wale hain image formation on spherical mirror okay image formation on spherical mirror ठीक है ना तो इसके लिए हम लोग एक सिम्युलेशन सॉफ्ट यूज करने वाले हैं ठीक है फ्रॉम जावा लैब्स फ्रॉम जावा लैब्स ठीक है ना इसको करने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे इसको फुल स्क्रीन कर देंगे ठीक है ना तो सबसे पहले हम लोग कॉनकेव मिरर का देखते हैं तो जब हम कॉनकेव मिरर का इस ऑब्जेक्ट को हम इनफाइनाइट पे रखेंगे तो देखिए क्या होगा इट विल कीप द ऑब्जेक्ट एट इनफाइनाइट इट विल बी मीटिंग हेयर इट विल बी मीटिंग हेयर सो द साइज ऑफ image is point size okay second thing see it is the image is on the side of object that means it is real image second thing is it is inverted the object was above the principal axis but the image is below the principal axis so it is inverted okay now what i will do i will will go move forward and will bring it nearer okay will bring it now so my uh, center of curvature is this one this point okay so if it is beyond center of curvature it is beyond center of curvature where is where is the image formed it is formed here that means between f and c between f and c what is the property of image it is again inverted okay then it is again smaller in size smaller than the object third thing is it is also a real image okay it is also a real image because this this image is formed with the help of real rays real reflected rays okay now i will move this toward center of curvature okay i will move this towards center of curvature now the 
size of image is exactly the, the same size of object what is where it is forming it is forming at c only I mean center of curvature okay again it is real image because it is formed with the help of sorry it is formed with the help of real reflected rays and it is inverted now i will bring it in between of center of curvature and focus okay so when i will bring it at between the center of curvature and focus what is the size of image it is bigger than the size of object it is bigger than the size of object sorry. it is bigger than the size of object again what is the property of image it is inverted it is real and it is beyond c beyond center of curvature now when i will bring it towards focus when i will bring it toward focus what is what happened this rays are going parallel that means the image will be formed at infinity and when the image will be formed at infinity its size will be huge again it will be inverted okay again it will be inverted and again it will be real image okay now when i will move towards in between of pole and focus what is the size what what, what is the property of image it is beyond the mirror behind the mirror behind the mirror means it will be imaginary okay it will be imaginary and all the imaginary images are erect all the real images are inverted okay second thing the size of image is bigger than the size of object okay size of image is bigger than the size of object so this was the characteristics of image formed on concave mirror now we will see the characteristics of image formed on convex mirror so when i will place it at infinity at infinity so what happened the size of image is smaller than the size of object okay and it is it is imaginary image so it will be erect understood we will discuss the characteristics of image now okay so in concave mirror most of the time we had real image okay and real image are always inverted okay in convex mirror every time we had imaginary image and imaginary image is erect okay so this is the property of concave and concave x mirror concave mirror is also called converging mirror suppose a parallel ray is approaching so what will happen it will converge at focus but convex mirror is called diverging lens that means if a ray is approaching what will happen it will diverge it will diverge away from focus okay so this is all about concave and convex mirror now where do we use these mirrors okay where do we use this mirrors so concave mirror are generally used in torch lights or search lights or vehicle headlights so the lights the in in the headlight when we will see you will find there is a suppose this is my headlight so you will see a silver color thing inside the light okay and a bulb will be placed at center so what happens is when the light rays when the light ray comes out it it strikes to con, concave mirror and it reflect when it reflect it reflect parallelly okay so that is what concave mirror is used for then concave mirror are also used for save as a saving mirror okay as a saving mirror then dentist also use concave mirror to check the teeth okay this used by dentist okay now 
so this is all about use of concave mirror now in convex mirror where do we use is convex mirror are commonly used as a right view mirror okay rear view mirror in the cars so we have the rear uh, we have the mirrors right uh, in the car so these mirrors are nothing but the convex mirror because the image image will always be smaller than the object so we we usually see and read, uh, writing over there object in the mirror are closer than they appear so that is due to property of convex mirror okay now in the next uh, topic we are going to discuss about the sign sign convention of reflection there are certain rules which has to be followed when designing is on spherical mirrors okay so first is first is object object is always placed is always placed to the left of mirror okay okay now second thing is all distance parallel to principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror okay suppose this is my spherical mirror so all the distance suppose this is the distance or this is the distance this distance will be measured from pole okay third thing is all the distance right measured right to the origin are taken as positive while the left side of the origin is taken as negative you just you might have remembered the side, x axis and y axis this is x axis this is y axis this is y dash and this is x dash okay so when i will uh, give, go on right side it will be positive when i will approach left side it will be negative this is my origin if i will go up it will be positive it, if, if i will go down it will be negative so this origin is nothing but this pole okay now this side is this side this side that means this, all the measurement will be positive over here here all the measurement will be negative so object is always kept left side that is why the distance between pole and object will be given as minus 5 cm or minus 6 cm okay now there will be certain height of object and image so image image if it is if it is uh, in y dash axis it will be negative the value will be negative if it is above the means on the y axis it, the height will be positive okay now so this is sign convention just remember this x axis x dash y axis y dash okay object is always kept at left side okay right side is positive this is positive positive okay so this will become negative and height if it is on y it will be positive it is if it is in y dash axis it will be negative okay now we have next thing that is mirror formula and magnifications okay so uh, its derivation is not required i will write the formula direct so mirror formula is mirror formula is 1 by u plus 1 by v equals to 1 by f u is distance of object sorry distance between object 
and mirror okay mirror means pole okay mirror pole okay then v is distance between image and mirror f is nothing but focal length that is nothing but radius of curvature by 2 for all, for a particular mirror this will be constant okay so everything where if this will vary automatically vary okay now next is next is what magnification next is magnification okay so magnification is how much time the image is bigger or smaller than than your object okay so magnification is given by the term m and it is nothing but height of image divided by height of object when when we we'll derive this we will get minus v by u or we can say h dash by h so this is my magnification formula and in every every formula in whether it is sorry whether it is mirror formula or this magnification formula we have to use this sign convention okay we have to use this sign convention okay so while solving the while solving the questions just keep in mind you have to use the sign convention i will solve one question okay which will be very easier one so suppose the radius of curvature is 3 meter okay and object distance is 5 meter okay you have to find the image distance is what okay and what type of mirror it is given it is given convex mirror now in convex mirror what will be the thing in convex mirror in convex mirror how it will be designed so this is my convex mirror this is my convex mirror okay so i will keep my object on the left side of the mirror okay so it will automatically become negative now where is f this is the circle so its center of curvature will be somewhere here that means it is on the right side in the on the right side that means r will be positive so if r is positive it will give f equals to r by 2 that means 1.5 plus meter okay 1.5 meter equals to 1.5 meter okay understood now we'll see where does it it is forming the image so 1 plus u plus 1 plus v equals to 1 plus f okay what we don't know 1 by v we don't know so i will keep 1 by f minus 1 by u so when i will solve this 1 by v 1 by v will equals to 1 by f that means 1 by 1.5 minus minus of 1 by u what is what was u what was u c what was u minus 5 it is minus 5 because it is on the left side okay minus 5 okay so minus and minus it will become plus 2 can we write this as 2 by 3 okay plus 1 by 5 1 by v now so this is 15 this is 5 to the 10 plus 3 that means 13 by 15 now v will equals to 15 by 3 
see here its value is positive first its value is positive positive means positive means it is on the right side that means on the right side it will be imaginary image okay and if it is imaginary image it will be always erect so from the sign convention itself we can find all the characteristics of image first it, if it is positive positive means imaginary imaginary and if it if it is imaginary it will be erect okay and it if it is erect it is and imaginary and erect it will it will be behind the mirror behind the mirror so from the sign convention itself we can find what are the what are the characteristics of image so this was all about uh, reflection and reflection in concave mirror so that is all for today have a nice day goodbye